Thank you. Okay, so uh, we were supposed to have seven minutes per person, and uh, you went 20 minutes. <laughs> so um, after we arrived in Bangkok, we drove down for about an hour and a half southeast to a province called Chumburi. Okay, um, you know, outside of the U.S., areas are called provinces; they're not called states. Okay, so. Uh, Chumburi is the second largest province or, if you, or state in Thailand. Bangkok is the largest province. And then the second largest province is, uh, is Chumburi. And that's where the missionary... We essentially kind of went to two missionaries in Bangkok. There's two in the sense that it's the missionary and then his dad. His father went into... Uh, missionary Kim went into Bangkok in 1976. So he's been there for a long time. He did a furlough to work on uh, a doctorate of missiology in, in Chicago. But other than that, he's been in Bangkok the whole time. And so he started in Chumburi, he started the Global Christian Welfare Foundation. Okay? And uh, we simply know it as <coughs> Chumburi Center. Okay? Chumburi Center. So they have three main ministries there. They have a church. They have a seminary and they have an orphanage. Okay? This orphanage is, is called the Home of Grace. And uh, if you've been ever into Asian countries, there's a, uh, there's a TV station called Arirang TV station. And there, there's, it, they did a documentary on uh, House of Home of Grace. Uh, I, I'm not going to show you the whole clip, or I don't have the DVD clip with me, but you can find it online later. I'll, maybe I'll send you a link. Okay, so this is where the little ones stay, okay? in the Home of Grace. This is where we stayed. Uh, Chumburi Center is huge. It was donated by a Korean family that live in Bangkok. And so they donated 250 acres of land. And so one section of it, uh, they turned into like a retreat site. Uh, so like Bangkok uh, churches in Thailand or, or churches in Bangkok, they come down here to have their own retreats. And so we stayed at the retreat center. So it looks really nice. This is the view from, uh, from where, if you're standing right here. And then we were on the left side. So every time we had to go eat, we had to uh, walk up the hill. It wasn't that long of a walk, maybe a five, seven minute walk. But it makes it look like we're really like hiking and stuff. But then this is where uh, the dining hall area was. And this is, this is the first breakfast. And every, every day, the food was great. And uh, Pastor Paul... He used to be my college pastor, when I, my college home pastor in Los Angeles. So his mom uh, kind of did like a Korean Thai fusion every day. So there was always kimchi on the table every day. And like she would always kind of do her own little spin-off on some of the Thai dishes. So it was really good. So Mahapan Church uh, is, the per, is the picture of the church, the very first scene that I showed you, right? Uh, which was this one. This is Mahapan Church. Okay. And so Wednesday night, we had our service there, Wednesday night service. I uh, got to preach. We, we got to uh, sit there and worship. It was great. Okay. And then this is the children's Sunday worship. Oh, okay. 
And then uh, there were 10 other students that, we, uh, that came because we visited them at a neighboring village on a Saturday. That will be later. So this is Sunday worship. Paul gave his testimony on Sunday morning. Actually, Sang also gave his testimony on Wednesday night. I didn't have any pictures of that though, but you can take my word for it. <laughs> and then over there, like, uh, king is everything. Okay, the king is, is like awesome. And so on Sunday, when we were there, uh, it was Mother's Day. And Mother's Day and Father's Day in Thailand is the birthday of the king and birthday of the queen. Okay? Uh, or the Sunday that's near, nearest the birthday of the king and birthday of the queen. So we were there on Mother's Day. And so afterward, the children came up and did a special praise after service. Except for the little ones, they were like a, a three-year-old and a four-year-old that didn't go up there because they didn't know the songs. But um, that's that's the, the that was the orphans. Now we did some uh, yard work, right? Um, we <clears throat> when we asked the Chuburi Center, what would you like us to bring? They asked for some push reel lawnmowers, right? So these are the ones that are manual lawnmowers. So you see us standing there. You see Sam looking very happy. But that was when we, that was when we first starting, okay, um, after about 30 minutes, because this is how big the field was, okay, <laughs> it was like, it was like 90 degrees, and it was sticky and humid, and we were dying, and one of the problems with push reel lawnmowers is that you have to make the, you know, the blades spin yourself, and so a lot of the stuff wouldn't cut, and we'd have to go over it, and back and forth over it like numerous times. Okay, so that's some of the lawn mowing that we did and how big the field was. And then the last part of uh, Chambari Center is the Global Theological Seminary. Right now they only have six students uh, and uh, they have the program in such a way where you go either for, it's like a Christian college or it's like a seminary. So they have four members, four students, the, the girl bit there, the, two guys in the front and the guy in the back. Those are the four that are working on like their bachelors for, for Christian college. And then the two, the lady in the front and the gentleman in the back are working for their MDiv. In, in Thailand, like their, their level of kind of, because actually those two, they actually, oops, what did I do? They actually have their own churches. So this lady right here and this gentleman in the back, they actually have their own churches and now they're concurrently studying as they kind of run a church. And so, yeah, my, my, my privilege was to be able to, uh, uh, what's that called, have a lecture with them for one day. And so it was like six, five hours of lecturing. But it wasn't so bad because I only had to speak half the time because missionary Paul had to translate the other half anyway. So it was good. It was just encouraging to see, like, these are young people who desire to either go back to their villages or stay in that area or, or already part of a church and running a church. And they're coming to be trained for that very purpose, and so that was a big deal. Um, the, the, the seminary would normally be about maybe uh, 25 to 30 students, but the president had just stepped down, and so this is where they're in the transition period, so there's only six students right now.